Hey guys, welcome to Whiskey Central. My name is Shayla, and today I'm doing a review of these three whiskeys. All right, so we have uh, Jack Daniels Old Number Seven, the Gentleman Jack, and the Single Barrel. Now, a single barrel is a single barrel, so your barrel is not going to be the same as mine, most likely. Um, so each are a little bit different, but for the most part, you're going to get kind of the same flavor profile and characteristics generally. So yeah, I'm just going to tell you which one I like the best, um, kind of the flavors on, on all of them. So we're going to start with old number seven. I just get a ton of banana. I know everybody says it, but yeah, it's like a deep caramel, like an artificially, an artificial banana flavor. Like not a unripened banana, but like a, yeah, I don't know, just like, almost like Laffy Taffy, banana Laffy Taffy. You get some vanilla. All right. Let's go on the taste. I don't know if it's just because I've already had a couple of drams, but this feels pretty smooth actually. Usually I say that there's like quite a bit of alcohol on the palate, which I don't like, but um, it's actually pretty smooth this go around. So, all right, let's move on to the Gentleman Jack. So this one, so what they do with Gentleman Jack is they, they filter it through the Lincoln County process. Old number seven is filtered through the Lincoln County process and then it's aged. This is filtered through the Lincoln County process, aged and then filtered again through charcoal. So what I get on this is pretty much everything in old number seven, but toned way down. Like it's hard to get notes on it. Yeah, you get a little bit of banana and it seems less artificial, like a, like a fresh banana maybe. Yeah, and you get that caramel and vanilla, but it's just super subdued. So let's see what it's like on the palate. Yeah, it's super smooth. You definitely could drink this straight, no ice, no Coke. but it just almost tastes like nothing. You're happy because you got nothing. You got nothing in court. You don't got the bookkeeper. You got nothing. Like there's a little essence of this in it, but the charcoal filtering on the, after it's been aged, just kind of strips, it strips the sharpness off of it, but it also strips all of, a, a lot of the flavors. So I don't like this one as much so far. All right, let's go to the single barrel. So it's a lot darker. This is aged in the upper levels of the rickhouse. So there's more kind of wood and alcohol kind of interaction. It's seeping more out of the, out of the wood. So in this one, I get quite a bit of oak um, and some cherry, a little bit of cherry and kind of like a, like these two, I got caramel. This one I get caramel also, but it's like um, like brown sugar and mapley kind of sweetness as well. And there's there's also some banana in there. It's faint and it's less artificial uh, than than the old number seven. All right, let's go in for a taste. Cheers, guys. pretty smooth as well. Um, you get a little, I wouldn't say it's as smooth actually. It's not as smooth as this. You get a little bit of alcohol spikiness. This is higher proof. It's 90 proof for me. Um, but the one thing I don't like, you get some cherry, um, get a little bit of caramel on the palate, but the one thing I don't like is 
you get a lot of like bitter oak tannin, which um, I'm kind of a little bit sensitive to bitter things. So as soon as the bitterness uh, shows up in a whiskey, it really kind of puts me off of it. Um, so I don't like this one as much as probably these two, I would say. Yeah, just some bitter oak tannin. Um, it's pretty good, but for $50, there's a ton of other whiskeys that I would try uh, other than this. Um, this I don't really like because it's old number seven, but just stripped of a lot of flavor. So I would say if you like Jack Daniels and you want a, a sipping whiskey, I would go for the single barrel or the single barrel barrel proof. Um, but if you're just wanting to have a sipping whiskey, you don't necessarily love Jack Daniels or hate it, whatever, uh, I would get like a Knob Creek, you know, store pick or anything like that. It'll run you about the same price and it's way better in my opinion. Um, if you're just going to mix it, I would go for old number seven. It's the cheapest of the three options and it has a lot more flavor than this. Um, if you like the flavor of this and you really do want to just drink it neat, have it a little bit smoother, don't necessarily care too much about the flavor, you can get the Gentleman Jack. So that was my review of these three whiskeys. Uh, next week I'm going to be doing Glenfiddich 12, so if you don't want to miss out, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. To the, to the no, not gonna do that. Okay. <laughs>